my goodness what is up guys it is soul bash and we are back this is a new game called mobile legends and that was the game trailer for it you can sign up to pre-register for this game i'll leave you the link for that in the description below this is a moba multi-online battle arena game with some rpg dungeon crawling elements added into it so a quick overview of your main screen uh you got your crystals at the top which is like the in-game currency you have arena runes right next to that in gold arena runes obviously they're going to come from the arena so in the arena you have 1v1s 3v3s these are against other people all right opening soon i believe is a 5v5 and i'm not sure what else they have after that but the 3v3s have two lanes and jungle in the middle the 1v1 is a single lane rush where you have your minions teams obviously you can team up with other people and invite them and just we'll leave that duel you can 1v1 someone or 3v3 them and it not count in the actual ranked arena and you have the ai 1v1s or 3v3s you can choose either easy or hard so if you don't want to actually play against someone you can do it against ais and you still get rewards and experience for it uh adventure mode is pretty cool a little quick overview of it it's basically dungeon crawling you go into one and you beat them as you can go and each one requires different power rankings from your heroes which is right here at the bottom left that's the tab to get into it and here it shows you all of your legends what are which are the characters that you're going to be playing with now this is one of the main Not ones you start choice. out with uh he's a melee but he does have some magic range abilities so he's pretty nice uh this is one i've gotten Don't from opening a me. chest and this is another one we that you breathe, get soon after you start live. out now you see it's green plus one on the roland and striker and owen are only green that's because you can ascend and level up your characters through the adventure mode uh so that's pretty unique but that doesn't from what i've seen really affect anything in the arena mode so that only pertains to that part of the game so you're basically this is two games in one basically it's it's amazing all right what else we have on the main screen is the summons uh, you get these every day and i believe the other one is only every 48 hours yes it is but these are where you can get heroes and stuff uh, we can preview the rewards uh, that's how i actually got that guy the legend striker uh, i did a roll on it for some diamonds or the crystals here and you can also get shards and you can collect enough shards let's see here if you go to the hero tab see it takes 30 shards to unlock this person and you can go in here and see what type of abilities they have every one of them have something different so it's pretty nice and the only other thing that sets you apart in this is the runes abilities or the skills uh let's see i believe it's right here no that's another thing i believe mixed in with the adventure mode the perks here we go all right you start out with grace as level one restores hit points and you can unlock this now see this requires at the bottom right it says requires veterancy four i am currently veterancy three and you get experience for that by doing arenas so as you level up you can get different perks so i'm pretty sure that's kind of how the matchmaking system is going to work for the actual fights against each other uh it'll rank you off of this system right here hopefully and that should make for some pretty even fights in the arena uh speaking of arena let's go in now i'm just gonna go do a 1v1 against the ai because i know to load in the other mode it would have brought you in trying to get up with uh another player which this is the beta build so there's probably not any other players on currently all right let's Don't look mess with me. we have striker owen we we i have no equal in duke combat. which is free right now we have Locked Jewel, together. which is a trial that I got from my card. Right. That's a from cool thing too. You do get card drops from doing this and the adventure mode, which gives you free trials of different characters. All right, we gotta hurry up. Well, we went too far back. That's your All right, so obviously we sat there talking too long. Sorry about that. But you got a different range. This is a real tanky guy right here, but we'll go with uh, Roland, just the beginning That's character that source. everybody's going to get to begin with. Going to hit ready. And I know you see that on the left. You're wondering what is that? 
that is a skin that you can get. And I'll show you what skins are in just a minute after this fight. All right, starting out, it's going to ask you which uh, skill you want to use to begin with. I'm just going to select that one. It's my favorite skill on this guy, honestly. The one minute till begins. these spawn. You can hide in the grass. It's a MOBA, guys. Come on. There's another one down there. Going to let them get aggro. And I'm going to go in and do some damage. And here comes that one. And that is Ember. Ember is a range. Does a, got a lot of burst damage. Uh, we'll go through. If you guys want to see which characters are which, I can give you a guide. Basically, give you the rundown on what some of these guys can do. But we'll just take him into an arena battle. And a stunner. Kill myself. That's my perk I'm using is that heal. Since I'm only still level 3 veterancy, I'm going to unlock my passive skill. If you notice that fourth skill up there, it's like really small compared to the other ones. Some heroes are legendaries, I'm sorry. Some of them have more than one of those, so they could have more than one passive skill. Oh, we're going to stay in too long. All right. So do not do that. I stayed in the uh, Justice range of that tower too long talking, trying to attack that other guy. So we're even up one to one. Now the 1v1s, you can get three kills and win, or you can kill their tower. So if you got someone trying to tank the game, if you get up there and kill their tower, you can actually win the game by that or by killing them three times. So it's two of them versus me. Right? Ooh, let's get out of there for a second. All right, we got both of, all of our skills up. All right, let's kill this guy right here. You see this horse in the top right? That's your gear. Obviously, if you take a look there, you have gear setups, different things give you different stats. Uh, so you can have different builds. That is one of the other things that will set you apart from any other player while you're playing in this mode. Alright, and we're going to upgrade this one because that's the stun. Here we go. Gonna kill her. Alright, move in, take that. That's the ultimate. The bottom left skill is the ultimate on every one of them. Alright, we've got another thing we can equip. And let's upgrade this skill. I normally do everything up to two first. And then uh, go on from there. But I'm sure strategies will change once we get actual real people playing. It's going to be a lot more challenging as well. All right, we're going to back off a little. That guy's dead. All right, here's some iron skin. Extra defense. And let's go all in. All right, they just Justice leveled up. As you can see, I'm level six. They're level six now. All right, can we get her down? Stun. Hit her, hit her, hit her. Yes. Automatically, when you get the last kill, it kills their tower and you win. This is a extremely fun game. You see, I got experience right there. Sorry, I didn't let you look at the page too much, but uh, it gives you stats on what you got as well. And we can go back out of this. All right, and let's look at the adventure mode real quick as well while we're here. The last one that I don't know. Let's see. We'll do this one. It shouldn't be too too bad. And once you go into it, it'll let you select your legends, whichever ones you want to take with you. Uh, when you start out, of course, you're only going to have, I believe, the two. So make sure to equip that. And it goes by power. See, my power is 26,375 currently. And when you hit battle, it takes you in. And now all of your heroes are here. Or legends, I'm sorry. We'll have to get used to this word, legends in the name of the game all right so i'm using the uh striker as the main because the striker's ranged all right you can hold it down you can see where your range is at and it's got powerful attacks like this can kill a lot of stuff pretty quick and you can see the other heroes, the top right, they're kind of flashing. I'll show you what that is right here. 
All right, this controls the ultimates for these other heroes, the legends that I have with me. And I know I just said that again. All right, so Let's make some trouble. good on mana. The other one that I have, he is a support character, so he's like a healer. And you're going to see me utilizing him right here because we're going to start taking a good bit of damage. Trying to get some of these skills off and let's go ahead with a heal. These are the modes where you can level up as well. Your not only your legends, but your skills as well. And I'll show you where that's at after we get done with this one. So you, it's pretty much you got to strategize. It's not just go in, you know, beat them down, hack and slash. You got to, you know, time your heals right. Make sure you've got the proper gear and level to do this stuff. Because if not, they're going to beat you down. They do get pretty tough. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this out because I know quite a few come here. Trying to move things on a little bit. Got them slowed. All right, and we're saving up abilities. All right, let's get a heal off. Let him get healed up real quick because here is the Ember, the boss. So this might not go too good. We didn't have full health when we started. All right. We got her down to four bars. I believe she started at six. Get a heal off, heal. This is gonna be really close. Down our last bar. All right, we got her. Nice. Only got a two star on that. Cause we got to keep above 30 hit or uh, 30% HP. You get rewards for it. See, I'm almost level 13, which will let me hopefully go up to level 17 on my heroes or my legends for this. You can go to the next stage from there. You can see your damage totals. Who did the most damage? Roland is a beast. He does a lot of damage. All right, now I was talking about the skills on the heroes. All right, if you go into here, sorry, legends, I did it again. We'll get this right eventually. Top right says stage skills, click on that. And this is where you can level your skills up for that part, the adventure Don't mode. With me. So we need to level these poison arrows up. And you can only have so many skill points and they do regenerate every so often. You just see as a timer up there counting down. And if you're out, you can actually, let's see if we can level anybody else's up. That's Here we go. Service. You can actually purchase them with the crystals um and you can actually do it Don't on all of them stage skills and like i said here's your leveling up uh we can't we're maxed out right now you can also rank them up and what they're talking about is the power shards or stones what these are are basically the shards of the same legend so you get them through the boxes as you can tell there the chest and ascend you can get these from shops adventures and doing quests so there's three different places you can get those from and the sand is what makes you up in the green and then green plus one and so forth all right guys well let me know what you think about this game this is mobile legend it is coming out very soon i cannot tell you a set date yet but i can tell you it is coming very soon and this game is going to be awesome i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions about this game let me know in the comment section below as always, like, comment, subscribe. I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.